in the mob made it. Middle Eastern niche fragrances from across seas is the best fragrances in the whole game. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Like, I'm in my, <sighs> Jesus. It's like, okay. So I was raised in the hood, you feel me? I was raised, you know what I'm saying, where I was raised at. Don't worry about where, I was, where I'm from. But like, I was raised in the hood, ghetto, street dude. I did a lot of things in my life and designer brands was like really, really like promoted and, and, and glorified where I was at. So when it comes to Middle Eastern fragrances and niche fragrances, I always is like, who the, who the fuck about to spend $400 on a bottle of cologne that nobody in the hood know about? That's kind of was my philosophy, but I've been doing this fragrance game for about like two years now, okay? And I'm to the point where I'm getting very frustrated and tired of designer fragrances. It's to the point where every single designer fragrance that come out doesn't blow my mind, man. I'm talking about like, I smell it and I just be like, you know what I'm saying? It just, I be feeling like, bro, like if I, I can pinpoint exactly what that fragrance smell like. So I wanted to kind of do a little video for y'all to talk about like the different tiers of fragrances. Don't worry about concentrations. Let's talk about just tears, okay? I used to be so focused on, you gotta be a parfum. No, bro. Don't look at the concentration no more. I would not look at that. Look at cheap fragrances, designer fragrances, and niche fragrances. That's the new concentration in my eyes. Cheap fragrances will never, 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 never just, 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 it's just, I don't care. It just, it don't, it's not gonna give me that feel like a designer fragrance will. And a designer fragrance will never, ever, 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 ever give me that feel that a niche fragrance will give me, okay? Let's talk about this in video game terms. Look at cheap fragrances like Nautica Voyage. Look at this, it's like a mobile game. Mobile game, like you can play this on your phone, okay? And you know when it comes to phone games and stuff like that they can only do so much you know what i'm saying i don't care how much graphics they put in that game i don't care how many players they got in that game i don't care how much y'all love that game and how free and cheap it is it will never be up there with console games okay you feel me like a ps5 and things like that it will never ever be in that realm no matter how much people be like like the new Call of Duty Mobile and how they like, oh, it kind of reminds me of the um, console game, but it's not the console game. It's still a mobile game, regardless if it has good graphics or not. Just because people say Nautica Voyage or Jupe or 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 um, uh, uh, Calvin Klein's, it smells so much similar. It smells so expensive. No, man, no, it don't. It's like, I've never smelled a fragrance that was $30 and under smell like a designer fragrance. Let's just be real, like, no, they don't. This does not smell like a Dior fragrance. This smells like exactly what it is, $20. It don't, like, come on, man, this is cheap, bro. But it smells like cucumbers. So what I can say is it smells like cucumbers. So if you want to smell like cucumbers, you gotta grab this, but I'm just getting so mature with these fragrances, like, that's not blowing me out the water. So if we are saying that Nautica Voyage is a mobile game, straight up, Dior Sauvage, like, you know what I mean? Stuff like this, the designer brands when it comes to Gucci, Dior, Prada, you know what I'm saying? Them type of fragrances, them are just console games. You know what I mean? Let's, let's say, let's say, um, they're like console games that that publishers made that it's not a triple-a game but you know what i'm saying it's just a cool game you know what i mean like bullet storm video games that's not the essential like 10 out of 10s you know what i'm saying like if you go on metacritic they might be like a 5 out of 10 you know what i'm saying when it, on a video game scale so think that, also think like movies, like if cheap fragrances, like I said, if Nautica was like a mobile game, think of a, a movie as in like a, um, you know, uh, a, a, a short film shot on like an iPhone. That's kind of like, that's kind of how I look at Nautica Voyage, is a, is a, is a iPhone movie. 
no I don't care how much y'all say oh but it got they got really close to a movie movie no 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 it's still shot on the iPhone so it's, we can still see it it's just they did a real good iPhone job you know what I'm saying just like a video game like any Metacritic game that's on a console that after it been out for like a year is already ten dollars on sale them type of games you know what I'm saying not triple-a games but when it comes to niche fragrances like you know what I'm saying we talking about like Killian uh, uh, Black Phantom, you know what I'm saying? I don't really got too many niche fragrances. Like I said, I'm just getting new to it, but I just got enlightened the past week. But when it comes to niche fragrances, niche fragrances are triple A, triple A high budget. You know what I'm saying? There's a reason why certain games are $70 and they spent $100 million on a budget when it comes to Grand Theft Auto, Call of Duty, you know what I'm saying? Red Dead Redemption, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, for I ain't gonna say no Fortnite, but you know what I mean, like real oh, Last of Us and the Spider-Man game. You know what I'm saying, like video games that you can literally tell they spent time with. That is niche fragrances. It's a video game that even when it's on sale, it's still gonna cost forty dollars. It don't matter how much y'all like. You know what I'm saying? Put into that game, it's still gonna cost a pretty penny. And that is what I'm trying to tell y'all. Like niche fragrances is AAA games. Okay, I didn't, I never looked at it like that. I always looked at it like, who won't spend that money? But this whole time, no. You, you want to spend that money. You want to smoke. Like, if you want the best of the best, you spend that ticket. So, if your fragrance is any, like, if, if your fragrance is under 120 or 250, under 250, like, don't get it. And I'm not even talking about Creed. Creed is not a niche fragrance. Creed smells like a high-end designer fragrance. You know what I'm saying? It don't smell like a niche fragrance. Creed is not niche to me, okay? I'm sorry. It just smells like a real good designer fragrance. Niche smells like oils and richness. It's a whole different ball game, okay? And that's why I want to get y'all hip to. So that's my little category, you know. We got cheap ones, we got designer, and we have, you know, niche. So if you're in this fragrance game, we gonna get into these niche fragrances. I'm big boss, I wanna smell great, okay? And niche is where it's at. So I want y'all to like, comment, and subscribe. Just know, niche fragrances, man, tap in. I'm big boss, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'm gonna make a little video of how I got my selling like that song, okay? But I love y'all, and I'm out. I'm too old for this shit like I'm Danny Glover Gotta watch the curvy niggas that be undercover You make love with these hoes, you be undercover I'm standing up, she in the air while we sock each other You can tell we